Yeah, Dave, he had some interesting things to say. I think a lot of people are asking themselves, what would I have done in this situation? Could I have survived? Well, this expert is giving some people advice tonight. Oh my God. Paralyzed by sheer terror and panic, victims of the mass shooting in Aurora, Colorado, had little or no time to react as the gunman unloaded his arsenal of weapons. The attacks are usually random. They're very, very quick. Psychologist Kenneth Wolf heads up an organization called Incident Management Team. Wolf lectures and trains large organizations in violence prevention and how to survive a shooting like the one in Colorado. In these situations, time equals human life. The more you can delay the perpetrator, by that time, rescue personnel are coming. Wolf says in situations like the movie theater shooting, a good strategy is to drop to the ground, don't freeze, and if all else fails, attack the shooter. When you have no other option, you can either sit there or you can say, you know what, even if I get hurt, even if I get injured, if I have coworkers or people around me, let's just make an immediate plan to assault the gunmen. And as Colorado and the nation grieve, people across our community are coming together as well. Today, a group of parishioners and pastors gathered outside a Southfield movie theater to send a message of love. We bring everyone together to stand in solidarity with all of the families and victims impacted by the horrible tragedy that happened in Colorado. I believe it touched all of us, and um, we need to become unified. The Bible says where there's unity, there is strength, and we need to pray. And police sources tell me tonight they have stepped up security and their presence around area movie theaters just to make sure everybody knows they're out there watching. Reporting live in Southfield, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News. Dave, back to you.